Hey everyone, welcome back to The Living Life. Um, today I'm going to address a topic that I'm sure you guys are wondering and that is why I never confirmed having breast implants, these silicone bags poisoning my ass. Whew. All right, so where do I start? This is gonna be, you know, pretty raw and honest and so some of my reasons y'all might not like may sound blunt. For those of you that don't know, which I feel like if you guys have watched our channel before this video, then you know how much I love fitness and how I've always been open about my love for fitness and working out and keeping my body in shape and lifting heavy weights, cardio, whatever. I love everything about fitness and the gym and the outdoor workouts, just everything. I just love it. There's tons of women that worked out there that were into fitness and competing, like bodybuilding, and like they did bikini shows. And that's where I started to get that bug in my ear to like wanting to compete. I noticed that all the fitness girls had fake boobs. And I just was like, man, like I felt like that was the only thing I was missing, like physically. I just felt like, man, all I need are boobs. And so I literally, when I decided that, which was within a few days, like I did not waste any time. I had the money already booked a consultation and scheduled my surgery the same day. And it was legit all within like less than a month time frame. I had my boobs in. Yeah, at that point I was on my own and I had, I was 19, so I had the money and I was just gonna do it. It happened really fast. I was so excited, I wasn't nervous at all, which is weird because they felt, I guess, really comfortable at the consultation. He was like, I do them all the time, it's really safe, like you have nothing to worry about. If something were to happen, you would know right away and you'd be able to fix it. So. I was like, okay, man, this is cool. Like, bam, that's all. Like, just make it rain in the plastic surgeon's office, get my boobs, and it was done. And I even met Jerry with them already in, so it's not like Jerry's never, I mean, he's seen a couple pictures with me, uh, of me when I, before I had plastic surgery, but I think he's maybe seen like one or two and that was it. Cause majority of my life, I mean, I've pretty much had these breast implants in for all of my adult life, pretty much. For a few years, I stayed off the camera. He was strictly doing his old like RIP channel video, like the comedies and the rants and stuff. I stayed doing my corporate job. I just liked my private life until he decided, you know, let's start family vlog channel. Our son was a few months old and he just wanted to do that. And me being his significant other, we were not married at the time. I had my hesitations and reservations because I am really honestly like a private person. I didn't even have Instagram or Twitter before him. He actually made those accounts for me. But me being his significant other, I wanted to support him. So I went along with it, but as y'all know, it took me a long time to get used to the camera. I was very quiet and just like, it was mainly him doing his thing with it. And it took me uh, quite some time to get used to it. But yeah, I went into it and it was a family channel and I went into it with boobs. So I didn't feel like on one random vlog, I'm already uncomfortable as it is being on camera. I'm not gonna share like, hey guys, oh, by the way, my boobs are fake. No, kind of my guard up. And I was just like, honestly, it's nobody's business. It's my personal choice. If I wanna share it, then I'll share it. If I don't wanna share it, then I won't share it. And that's just how I felt. I didn't feel like it was anyone's business. It was something I already had in before even starting or being on social media. I feel like, of course, if I went into it without breast augmentation or plastic surgery, and then like two years later after vlogs, I decided I wanna get my boobs done. Of course, I'm gonna share that with you guys and I'm gonna address it because it would be very, very obvious. But since it wasn't, I didn't see like it was a big deal. I had them in for years and I didn't feel like I had to disclose that information to people on the internet. And honestly, over time, I found it really interesting and somewhat sometimes even entertaining that a lot of you guys would like go back and forth on certain vlogs whenever I would wear like fitted or like somewhat revealing tops. You guys would be like, like, oh my God, are your boobs real or are they fake? And people would be like, would make their own assumptions. Like, yeah, she, they're definitely fake. And others would be like, no, she just works out a lot. They look natural. And I was like, wow, like my surgeon did a, a really good job. Like, 
And honestly, I still believe that. Like the look of my boobs, I love them. I love how they turned out with all of the health issues that it has brought myself over the years. It's 1,000, 1 million percent not worth it for me and I cannot wait to get them out. And my last reason, which I feel like is a really good reason, I don't regret not sharing, not confirming it with you guys because I feel like with everything that has happened um, to my body because of them, I never felt comfortable sharing, even before I even knew that this was the cause, right, of all of these crazy symptoms. If I did say, yes, I got my boobs done, I didn't want to be the one to influence any of you guys because one, a lot of you guys have never met me and I feel like I do have somewhat of an influence since we do have great vines and people watching us. I would hate for someone to get breast implants because of me. And I say that because it is such a huge decision. I know how easily influential these plastic surgery videos can be and i didn't feel comfortable putting my story out there and possibly influencing a bunch of people to get breast implants because i know the influence that i had just in my personal life that honestly gets me really emotional thinking about because after i got my boobs done um i can name five people off the top of my head that are friends and very close to me that got their boobs done with my same doctor within like a year and a half of having mine. And so I was their influence and just knowing what I know now, like I honestly feel terrible. I now know that these are seriously the devil. Like I just want, I want to rip them out sometimes. I've watched even after I was told um, by my doctor I started watching a lot of women, like a lot of women have went through or are currently going through what I've been going through. And I know how much that influenced me and really helped me um, and put my mind at ease. Let me know like I'm not crazy, like something, you know, is really has really been going on with me. It would be wrong of me to not share it at this point. Jerry and I say like, He's handled it so well, but really 2018 has been the worst year of our life um, easily by far. And y'all that have been watching us for years, y'all know we've been through a lot of things together as a couple and as a family. But at the same time, I'm, you know, I'm really grateful and I'm really blessed to have the resources uh, and the doctors uh, that I have consulted with and have those resources and have the finances to get these out as soon as possible. Um, I'm literally, I would get them out tomorrow. I'm just trying to focus on the positives because I've read so many women's stories out there who are in so much pain, as much pain as I've been in, that know what they have to get done and can't get it done because the procedure a minimum of twelve thousand to fifteen thousand you know that's a lot of money a lot of people don't have that kind of money like laying around and so i really sympathize with a lot of the women out there Whew. so one it was my personal decision i did it way before i even started social media it's my body my personal choice plus surgery is a very personal and private thing and i just felt like it was no one's business. And the most important reason is I didn't want anyone to be influenced and get such a big procedure done to them because of my influence. I'm actually really glad that I didn't because I feel like I would have influenced a lot more people than I had already had in my personal life. I love y'all and I'll see you in our next vlog. Bye.